ったねー。With the Philippine Aeropress still coming up, um, it's on June 1 by the way, and I'm still not part of it. <laughs> um, I'm still exploring. Uh, I'm still exploring different recipes for the Aeropress, right? So for today's video, I'm gonna do a recipe that you might want to try at home. I just found it online, and yeah, we're gonna try it. For this recipe, we're gonna do a 1 is to 11 ratio, right? We're gonna use 18 grams of coffee to 200 ml of water, right? So I'm just gonna prepare um, the coffee. So we're gonna weigh 18 grams of the Stumptown Homestead, which is a really good coffee, by the way. Okay, and then the recipe calls for a coarse grind setting. So we're gonna do, um, I think, 5.5? 5.5 on the Easy Presso ZP6. Right, so we have our coffee ready. We're gonna prepare the AeroPress. So we're gonna do the inverted method. Okay, and then we're gonna put the we're gonna put the coffee in. Now, the water that we're gonna use is 84 degrees Celsius only. Um, it's not like your common AeroPress recipes where you use a very hot water temperature. This time we're gonna use a lower temperature of 84 degrees. So we're gonna divide the water into two parts. We're gonna pour 100 ml first and then swirl the AeroPress. And then after one minute and 30 seconds, we're gonna pour another 100 ml, and then we're gonna flip. You don't need to be gentle with your pouring. Okay, after pouring the 100 ml, we're gonna swirl. Swirl, make sure that the bubbles are turning light brown. At one minute, we're gonna pour another 100 ml. Now we're gonna prepare the paper filter. So the paper filter requirement for this AeroPress recipe is you need to, to use double paper, right? You need to use two sheets. Right, and then we're gonna wet it just to make it stick. You don't need a lot of water for this. Yeah, just enough for the paper to stick. Then put it here. We're gonna press till all the air is out. Right, then let's flip. After flipping, we're gonna do that so that we can make sure that all the coffee grounds are settled into the bed, right? And then maybe at two minutes, we can start pressing. Again, if you're pressing on your arrow press, you don't need to put a lot of pressure onto it so that you don't create channels and, and you don't force the, the extraction into the paper filter. Also, there are gaps on the paper filter holder, so you might you might create channels, and then eventually you're gonna bypass the coffee bed. Right, that's it. Before you flip your chamber again, you pull the plunger out just a little bit so you create a vacuum, and then coffee is ready. Right, so we're gonna try this. Mmm. <laughs> um, the body is a bit thin, understandably, because we have two filters. We use two different 
paper filters and we use a coarse grind size so maybe you can adjust that to your preference but i like it it's sweet it's sweet and i can i can actually taste some brightness to it and it's very smooth it's a very easy aeropress recipe that you can do at home um it's it's not your normal aeropress recipe number one you're using a coarse coarse grind setting number two you're using a lower temperature but i think it works it i like it <laughs> maybe you should um adjust the grind setting to your preference to your liking if you want more body or if you want more um more sweetness from your cup maybe you should go finer but this cup i'm liking it i'm enjoying it i can i can drink this i want to say good luck to competitors of the philippine aeropress championship happening this first of june um i still wish that i can join but yeah for now thank you so much for watching in the next videos i'm gonna show you more about coffee bye Check, check, do we still have?